Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video, we will show you how to set up communication and control for your IOLINK ISC20 or ZSC20. During the video, we will show you the equipment and software you will need and show you step by step how to complete it. In the end, we will verify that the PLC and IOLINK Master are on the network of your choosing. Let's get started. Please refer first to our earlier ISC ZSE 20 video for general hardware layout and setup. You'll need a PC, software, and network communication to complete this configuration. Next, we can set the IP address for the IOLINK Master. Download and install the commercial IOLINK Master control software and operating instruction manuals. Then, set the IP address for the IOLINK Master as per the manufacturer's specifications. Next, we need to set the IP address for the PC. We can do that quickly from the control panel by going to Change Adapter Settings. Go to Properties, select Internet Protocol version 4, and enter the PC IP address. Then, install the IOLINK ISC and ZSC20 IODD file into the IOLINK Master Control software. Verify that both the ISC20 and ZSC20 are discovered and have the correct port. And we need to verify that the IP address is set for the PLC. Equipment settings will vary. Each device needs to use the same local area network so that IOLINK can be shared between the IOLINK Master, the ISC20, and ZSC20. Finally, to set up the ISC20 and ZSC20 for the desired screen display settings, please refer to the IOLINK ISC20 ZSC20 YouTube product video on our channel and the operation manual or quick guide to further customize programming. Now that we have verified that all devices are on the network and have set display settings, we're ready for the next step. We hope you found this video useful. In the next video, we will map the data between the PLC and the IOLINK master so that the ISC20 or ZSC20 port can monitor the application's pressure requirement.